uh, sermon is uh, uh, is uh, knowing God's plan and make use of the season. So this morning we are supposed to uh, hear from the Lord again. Uh, so as we are listening from the from the Lord, uh, I would request everyone to uh, sit in the presence of God with uh, that prayerful attitude, so that uh, we'll be receiving something uh, special from the Lord this morning. Hallelujah! So today's sermon, the, the the topic is like this: knowing God's plan and make use of the season. Hallelujah! And previous Sunday, I preached about the topic called. Uh, 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 make use of the season of deadly pestilence for good purpose. Amen. And we read uh, uh, a verse from uh, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It is like this. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. So that is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. We were reading that portion uh, in the in the previous Sunday, and we were just discussing something about uh, this topic. Hallelujah! And uh, already I said that this is not the time to accuse, or this is not the time to uh, blame others, or this is not the time to uh, uh, okay, uh, run up to to know what is the reason of the situation and what is the reason of the problem. And this is not the time to go after and run after everything. That we uh, most of the time the people are just running after uh, knowing mm, what is the reason of this, what is the reason of this pestilence, or what is the reason of this COVID 19 or something. But this morning, even again, again, I would like to I mean, speak to you about the same points. You know, you know, we have to understand and what is the God's plan about the believers, about the children of God. I mean, when we go through all these problems, hallelujah, and rather is best time to know the plan of God and the, the purpose of God. I mean, about each one of us when we go through the difficult situations. Hallelujah. And knowing that whatever happens in our life, I mean, for the glory of God, that is for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let the name of the Lord glorified through all our situations. Hallelujah. So that was the, the, the main, I mean, two points that we were discussing in the, in the previous Sunday. I mean, whatever happens in our life, let that be for the glory of God. Hallelujah. And let the name of the Lord be glorified through all our situations. Hallelujah. For example, you know, the blindness of the man by birth was for the glory of God. Secondly, the sickness and the death of Lazarus was for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thirdly, the problem of getting over the wine in the burning house in Cana, Jesus turned it to the glory of God. Hallelujah. When, where there is a problem, where there is a situation which uh, we cannot manage, it, hallelujah, where there is a difficult situation, we have to understand that there is a God, I mean, he is the creator and he is the miracle worker and he is doing the miracles uh, in and through our life, uh, I mean, whenever we are going through the difficult situations, hallelujah. At the same time, at the same time, we should know and, and we should understand what is the plan of God about a believer. I mean, what is the plan of God about the, about the people of God. I mean, when we go through the, I mean, different situations, hallelujah. So do not be worried about, uh, I mean, uh, what happens in the world. Rather, let us know all things works together for good to those who love him. That is the, that is the, that is the I mean, main verse that we were reading from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. I mean, everything works together for good for those who love God. Hallelujah. You know, it is very, very, it is not easy to believe for many of us that uh, all things work together for good. You know, most of the time we used to read that Bible verse and we used to uh, speak about that and, and we used to say that okay, everything works together for good. I mean, those who love God. But many a times we people are not understand the, the, the meaning of that word. And we people are not, I mean, uh, I mean, able to, I mean, go through that word, and we are not believe, we are, we are, we are not able to believe that God is doing everything for good. Hallelujah! You know, but let me uh, share with you uh, one incident or uh, the, the the life story of a woman called uh, uh, Fanny Crosby. Okay, Fanny Crosby. Uh, she was from New York. And I have that uh, my life story with me, and I would like to share with you because uh, that would be a great encouragement for all of you. Hallelujah! You know, 
this this lady, uh, uh, Fanny Crosby, was from New York, and she was a good songwriter, and uh, she she promoted uh, to glory in her ninety uh, fifth year. Okay, and but she had a tragedy uh, in her life that uh, in her childhood he. Uh, he, he she, she she got some uh, some kind of uh, i mean infection on her eyes and she lost her eyesight and she became blind you know uh, but uh, uh, she was a famous songwriter and wrote more than uh, 9000 uh, uh, songs like uh, uh, you may be knowing the song uh, draw me nearer nearer near i mean uh, blessed lord i mean so that song also was written that hymn was written by uh, this lady called uh, fanny crosby i mean you know what happened there was a tragedy in her life uh, when uh, in his in her uh, in in her childhood when she was uh, when she was 40 45 years old or something you know one pastor said like this when uh, i think about about this woman i used to ask to god why can't you give her the eyesight because she is useful for you? You know, th this was the question that the pastor was asking to the Lord. Oh Lord, why you are not healing this lady? Why you are not giving back the eyesight for that lady? Because she is very useful. She is writing many songs and she is singing the songs and she is encouraging the other people. Why can't you God, why can't you give back the eyesight for, uh, for this lady? Then, you know, this pastor also asked to him, why, sister, why, sister, God is not healing you? And why, sister, I mean, you are blind, but you have the talents, you have the gifts of God, and you have the talent of God. You are ready to write many songs and useful for the kingdom of God. But God, why God is not doing a miracle in your life? I mean, she answered like this, God is using me for his kingdom, even though I am blind. And I just want to see my God's face first when I go to heaven. Remember, he said, the answer is like this. God is using me for his kingdom even though I am blind. And I just want to see my God's face first when I go to heaven. Hallelujah. That means I could not see anything happens around me, but I want to see the face of God when I enter into the heaven. Hallelujah. This is for the hope of a belief. Hallelujah. Even though we are facing many problems in our life. Hallelujah. I mean, we have to understand that everything works together for good for those who love God. Hallelujah. So we may be having, I mean, many troubles in our life and we may be having some sufferings in our life. I mean, the people are going through difficult situations at the same time. We have to understand, hallelujah, just like this lady was giving the answer. I mean, I am. I know that I'm not able to see anything of this world. Hallelujah. But I just want to, I mean, see the face of the Lord when I reach to heaven. Hallelujah. This is what he, she understands and she says that again, I understand and everything works together for good for those who love God. Hallelujah. So this this morning, you know, let us let us understand what is the plan of God, what is the purpose of God about a believer. Hallelujah. So that is the reason that is that's the point that we were discussing. I mean, in the in the in the in the previous Sunday. Hallelujah. So let us try to know the God's plan and let us make use of the season this morning also. Hallelujah. We will, I mean, go to the next I mean point. It is like this. The plan of God is to humble ourselves and pray and seek his face and turn from the wicked ways. Okay, the plan of God is to humble ourselves, pray, seek his face, turn from the wicked ways. So we will read 2 Chronicles chapter 7, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14, 15, and 16. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14, 15, and 16. That it says like this, if my people called by name, by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. I mean, this is the worst, you know, if my people called by my name. So this morning, we have to understand we are the people of God and we are called by the name of the Lord. Amen. And also, when that person, when the people of God, they are ready to humble themselves. And if they are ready to pray, if they are ready to seek my face, and if they are ready to turn from their wicked face, 
then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Hallelujah. So let us make use of this time to humble ourselves and pray. You know, in verse 14 says that if we pray, pray for the nation, if we pray for the nation, if we pray for other people, God will heal the land. Let us pray for the affected, affected people there. You know, when we pray for the nation, when we pray for others, we understand that God will, I mean, bless us and God will those people also. God will bless all those people also. Okay, I mean, that is what we understand from this verse that we are supposed to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. We are supposed to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. And also let us pray in the presence of God. Let us seek his face. Let us seek his face. And let us turn from all the wicked ways. And let us confess about our sins and let's say, Oh Lord, we are coming to your presence. We are called by your name, O oh God. And we are the people of God. And we are supposed to be holy in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So we have to understand who we are. And when we understand who we are, we will know that, I mean, in which way, in what way we will be able to, I mean, be glorifying the name of the Lord and in what way we'll be able to, I mean, I mean, be fruitful for the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is what we understand. You know, example, we have to, we have to pray for others. We have to pray for others. There are many people suffering. You know, we, we, we have been hearing in the, in the, in the, in the last week that, uh, you know, in Tennessee, in Tennessee, many people, many houses, they, they lost, many people, they lost their houses. And they are, they are go, going through the panic situation. You know, those people, I mean, they lost many things and uh, they are in struggle. We have to pray for them. There are many people in, in, in and around the world, you know, they are I mean, suffering with the I mean, COVID-19 and all those problems and diseases. We are supposed to pray for them. Hallelujah. That is our, our responsibility. The people of God, we are supposed to pray for all the suffering people. Hallelujah. You know, for example, Job, I mean, in, in, in book of Job, you read that Job prayed for his friends. Then God blessed, uh, blessed him and, and healed him. And also he, God blessed his friends. Hallelujah. So we are supposed to pray for others. You know, when we pray for others, what is happening? God will heal us and God will help us and God will bless us. At the same time, God is going to bless and help the other people to whom we are praying. Hallelujah. So this, this morning, let us understand that God's presence is in our midst. Hallelujah. But our responsibility is to, I mean, humble ourselves. Hallelujah. Let us seek his face. Hallelujah. We're getting enough time. I mean, when, when we are sitting in, in, in our houses, hallelujah, we are getting enough time. Let us take time and let us spend time in prayer. Let us, I mean, spend time in seeking the face of the Lord and let us humble ourselves. Hallelujah. We don't have anything to boast about ourselves. Hallelujah. We do not have anything to boast about, boast about our personal life. We do not have anything to boast about our family. Hallelujah. But we have something to boast about that is the cross of Jesus Christ. And we, when we lift the name of the Lord and the name of the Lord will be glorified in and through our life. Hallelujah. So that is what we understand that when we come back to the the presence of God, when we come closer to the presence of God, when we seek the face of the Lord, when we humble ourselves, and when we are getting ready to pray for the suffering people, hallelujah, God will hear from heaven and heal the land it is written there, hallelujah. So we are supposed to pray in the presence of God, we are supposed to seek the name of the Lord. So God is using this season for his people to pray and to seek the face of the Lord and to humble themselves. So God has a plan and purpose about everything. God has a plan and purpose about everything. Everything. So whatever happens in the world, let, let it be there. Let that happen. Whatever it may be. But God is having a plan and purpose about the people of God that they should humble themselves. They should come to the presence of God. They should know what is the plan and purpose about those people. I mean, in the coming days. Hallelujah. So let us seek the, I mean, I mean, you know, you know, the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. So we have the righteousness of God, and when we seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. To you hallelujah so that is it one point that i want to i mean make it sure that i mean we will know the plan of god hallelujah that is to humble ourselves pray seek his face turn from our wicked ways hallelujah and we will go to the next point that is like this 
This is the time to search and find out what we lost. Hallelujah. This is the time to search and find out what we lost. You know, we may be thinking that, okay, oh Lord, in the, in the, in the, in the previous days or the earlier days, uh, I was, I mean, uh, 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 I, I was so beneficiary for the Lord and I was, uh, I was a useful vessel for the Lord. But these days, I'm not able to do anything for the Lord. But this is the right time to sit in the presence of God, to search and find out what we lost. You know, we might have lost many things in our spiritual life. Hallelujah. So this is the right time. And this is the best time for the people of God to sit in the presence of God. I mean, for, for hours and hours and ask to the Lord, oh Lord, how can I get back all those I mean, lost items? Hallelujah. I mean, you know, you know, when you read Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15, we read about three parables, three parables in, in Luke chapter 15. It is the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin and the parable of the lost son. I mean, Luke chapter 15 says there are three parables written. I mean, through, I mean, from uh, our Jesus Christ, the parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin and the parable of the lost son. And the shepherd is searching for the lost sheep. And the woman is searching for the lost coin and the loving father is searching and waiting for his lost son. Everyone gets back what they lost. I mean, there are three parables and the woman in that parable, the, the, the first one, the shepherd is searching for the lost sheep. He had hundred sheep, but he lost one sheep. So that shepherd is going after searching the one sheep. I mean, at the same time, the woman, I mean, in that chapter is searching for the lost coin. And the loving father is searching and waiting for his lost son, the prodigal son, to come back. Hallelujah. So this morning, when you read that passage, when you read the parables, I mean, we have to think about everyone gets back what they lost. I mean, even then, we are something and, you know, we sometimes we lost something valuable in our life. Let us sit in the presence of God and get back those things. Hallelujah. This is the best time to sit in the presence of God and ask to the Lord, Oh Lord, what is my lost? I mean, what I'm losing? Oh Lord, I mean, what, what should I, I mean, get back in my life for God? Hallelujah. And if you lost the spiritual strength, some people may say that, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm losing my spiritual strength. Hallelujah. And this is the time to pray in the presence of God and get back, try to get back that. And if you feel that you lost your prayerful life, let us come back to that point. Hallelujah. And let us make up, make use of the season and search, I mean, what we lost. Hallelujah. So this is the best time for the people of God and to search and find out what we lost. Hallelujah. You know, most of the time, I mean, we also sitting in the presence of God, we are thinking about, I mean, oh Lord, what I lost, what I lost. Hallelujah. I, I've been, I mean, eagerly waiting for the Lord in the, in the past days, but these days I'm not getting that strength in my life. Hallelujah. But if you're not, I mean, getting that spiritual strength in your life, and if you're not getting, you're not, not able to, I mean, I mean, and, uh, have that prayerful life in your life but this morning I mean this is the best time to sit in the presence of God and ask to the Lord this is the best season for the people of God to sit in the presence of God and ask pardon for the sins and uh, I mean come back to him and asking him that uh, oh Lord I need to get back all the things which I lost oh Lord hallelujah I lost many things of God I had uh, the spiritual awakening my Lord for oh God but I lost that of oh God hallelujah but I would come back to your presence of oh God hallelujah let us have that close intimacy with the with the Lord Jesus in these days hallelujah if you are not uh, having that close relationship close intimacy with God uh, I mean we are not able to I mean, receive anything from the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is the best time and this is the time, this is the plan of God about the people of God that they have to, I mean, search and find out what we lost. Hallelujah. And again, the, 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 the next point again, I mean, bring you that one is God's plan is to prepare us for his coming. God's plan is to prepare us for his coming. Hallelujah. You know, we have to remember one thing. Every disaster, every pandemic disease, every calamities, and every tragedy reminds us about the coming of Jesus Christ. The, the coming of Jesus Christ is at hand. You know, the last point is like this. God's plan is to prepare us for his coming. So God is allowing all these problems. You know, most of the time, 
especially in these days when the people are suffering the, the, the COVID-19 and uh, uh, all those problems, some of the people used to, I mean, ask some question, why God is allowing all these problems? Why God is not doing anything? If your God is a miracle worker, why God, why God is not trying to stop this, I mean, spreading of the COVID-19? And why this is happening? Why this is spreading? Hallelujah. You know, some of the atheist people, they were asking, I mean, uh, asking to the people of God and, uh, I mean, saying that, okay, if there is a God, why God is not doing anything, I mean, in this situation? Hallelujah. Our answer is, hallelujah. I mean, God is in heaven and he controls everything. At the same time, I mean, we are not supposed to, I mean, run after the miracle, but we are just trying to understand what is the plan of God about my life. Hallelujah. There may be many reasons for this, I mean, things and all. Hallelujah. They, we, we will find many reasons for the other uh, situation. There are many reasons for the problems which is happening around us. Hallelujah. At the same time, our responsibility is not to, I mean, find out the, what is the reason of that, but we are trying to, I mean, make use of the season and we are trying to, I mean, receive Jesus in the midair. Hallelujah. So we are waiting for the, I mean, coming of Jesus Christ. You know, whatever happens, Happens in the world and everything, everything, you know, every disaster, every I mean, pandemic, disease, whatever it may be, everything reminds us about the coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! And Jesus Christ is going to come soon, and we are supposed to be ready. I mean, prepared for the for the coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! And you know, when you go to Matthew chapter twenty-five, Matthew chapter twenty-five, you know, when you read verses one through thirteen. Okay, so all those portions, Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 13, we see the parable of 10 virgins. Okay, we see the parable of 10 virgins. I mean, you know, five virgins were wise and five of them were foolish. Okay, five virgins were wise and five of them were foolish. And all of them had many things in common, like all the things all the things okay all of them 10 of them 10 virgins they are having everything in common at the same time there are some mistakes which was done by only five virgins i mean so this is a this is a beautiful parable that uh, i mean uh, that by jesus christ and he is jesus is just uh, i mean encouraging the disciples and the people of god to 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 be to be prepared enough to i mean uh, receive jesus christ hallelujah so he was encouraging the people you know we understand from this parable that five virgins were wise and five of them were foolish okay and all of them had many things in common like all have invited for the banquet and all had responded positively okay all have been invited for the banquet and all had responded positively all of them had their lambs with them all of them had their lambs with them all 10 virgins wanted to see the bridegroom all 10 virgins wanted to see the bridegroom and all of them had some oil in their lamps at the beginning at the beginning all of them 10 of them had some oil in their lamps and also all fell asleep while waiting for the bridegroom they were all waiting for the bridegroom at the same time all of them were sleeping Okay, at the same time, all virgins, all were awakened by the midnight cry. When they hear the voice, I mean, when they hear the voice, they all awakened by the midnight cry. And, and all virgins got up to trim their lamps. Everyone, 10 of them, they, I mean, got up to trim their lamps. But the main three mistakes that the five foolish virgins did was, there are main three mistakes that the foolish five virgins did it was the five virgins were not prepared enough to meet the bridegroom the five virgins were not prepared enough to meet the bridegroom secondly they were so lazy they were so lazy and thirdly they had no oil in the lamb while the bridegroom returned they had no oil in the lamb while the bridegroom Return. Hallelujah. So these are the three mistakes I mean, done by the foolish I mean, virgins. Hallelujah. We understand that the five virgins were not prepared enough to meet the bridegroom. They were waiting for him. 
okay they were i mean they were getting ready for them but at the same time they were not prepared enough to meet the bridegroom so this morning as we are listening from the word of god hallelujah our i mean the, the coming of jesus christ is at hand and we have to be i mean prepared enough to receive jesus hallelujah we have to be ready for the coming of jesus christ hallelujah if you are not prepared enough i mean this is the time this is the best time and this is the right time to take a decision and say to the lord oh lord i'm getting ready and i'm getting prepared to to receive you in the middle of god hallelujah secondly i mean they were so lazy you know we have enough time but most of the time what is happening in our spiritual life we are lazy we are not ready to do many things hallelujah we are not ready to sit in the presence of god we are not ready to read the bible and we are not ready to pray for the people but we are simply spending time without any use hallelujah but this is the this is the better i mean best i mean parable that we can hear from the from the lord that that five virgins i mean they were very lazy so that's the reason that they could not i mean they could not welcome that i mean bride group thirdly they had no oil in the lamb while the bread i mean bride group retained hallelujah the oil shows the holy spirit so we have to have that the power of the holy spirit in our life i mean without the power of the holy spirit without the infilling of the holy spirit we will not be i mean having that power to receive jesus christ hallelujah so this morning this is the best time to think about I mean, what is the God's plan about my life? I mean, when I am going through the difficult situation, Hallelujah! And remember, now this is the time to get salvation, Hallelujah! Many of the people may asking, I mean, some of the people may be, I mean, attending in this prayer group, maybe they may not be the regular members of the church, Hallelujah! At the same time, I have a question to you, Hallelujah! Are you ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah? The coming of Jesus Christ is at home. I, at hand and this is the time to to be prepared you know for the i mean coming of the jesus christ hallelujah you know let, let's all close our eyes to the presence of god this morning praise god hallelujah we will all close our eyes to the presence of god and we are going to think about i mean what we were i mean hearing from the word of god hallelujah i mean if we are not serious about this coming hallelujah i mean we will be left off and let us know the value of the time and let us be prepared enough for the coming of jesus christ hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah i mean we, we may be knowing that okay this is a reason for the i mean to, i mean covid 19 and this is a reason that uh, this is spreading all over the world hallelujah we may we may be knowing that or we may be I mean, running after the reasons after reasons of these problems hallelujah but this is not the time to accuse anybody hallelujah this is not the time to blame anybody hallelujah but remember that uh, i mean whatever happens in the world i mean god has a plan and purpose about his people hallelujah god has a plan and purpose about his people hallelujah do not i mean think that okay this is because of that person or because of that country or because of that nation this is happening no this is only i mean i mean i mean maybe uh, by the knowledge of god only hallelujah god knows everything god knows everything but our responsibility is to surrender life to the presence of god i mean our responsibility is to make use of the seas and hallelujah and our responsibility is to i mean, I mean and, and, and God, I mean, when we go through the, I mean, problems and difficult situation, hallelujah. So many times the people are asking why God is silent, hallelujah. Why God is not doing anything, but we have an answer that God is living and God is living and he is doing everything according to his, his plan and purpose. Hallelujah. So that is what we read in Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Hallelujah. Everything, everything, I mean, will work together for the people. I mean, those who are called by the name of God and those who are loving God. Hallelujah. Everything will be, I mean, I mean done I mean, by the will of God. Hallelujah. This evening, so this morning, as you're sitting in the presence of God, hallelujah. Let us all surrender like the presence of God. Hallelujah. I mean, God has the plan and purpose about every believer. Hallelujah. So this morning, I mean, whatever it may be, whatever it may be the reason, hallelujah, whatever it may be the purpose, we have to think about our personal life. Hallelujah. Our personal life. So let us apply the word of God in our life this morning. Hallelujah. We are going to apply the word of God in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like that lady said, hallelujah, even 
even though I am a blind person, even though I'm not able to see the, 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 the what is happening around the world. I mean, I just want to know that, I mean, I must be useful for the name of the Lord. I mean, according to the talent which is given for me. Hallelujah. God is planning to use you and me for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. In this pandemic situation, hallelujah, God is trying to, I mean, use you and me for the name of the Lord, for the glory of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But at the same time, hallelujah, are you ready to, I mean, sit in the presence of God? Are you ready to, I mean, think about, oh Lord, I mean, what I lost, hallelujah. Are you ready to seek the name of the Lord and seek the face of the Lord? Are you ready to humble yourself in the presence of God, hallelujah? Are you ready to pray for the nation, hallelujah? Are you ready to, I mean, I mean, uh, pray for the, I mean, suffering people, I mean, because of the many problems, hallelujah. This morning, this is the right time to come to the presence of God. Come closer to the Lord, hallelujah. And let's have that intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ and let us I mean, understand oh Lord I understand this is the plan of God this is the purpose of God hallelujah and I'm coming to your presence of God hallelujah God wanted to I mean, make use of the time make use of the season hallelujah I mean remember everything worked together for good for those who love him hallelujah I mean there is no accidentally something anything in our life for a, for a man of God I mean for a child of God there is nothing accidentally happening hallelujah everything behind everything Behind every problem, there is a plan of God. There is a purpose of God. So let us understand what is the plan of God, I mean, through these problems. I mean, do not accuse or blame others when we go through the disasters and the tragedy. Hallelujah. And let, let everything be for the glory of God. Let everything be for the glory of God. And let us humble ourselves. Let us pray, let us seek his face, and let us, I mean, turn from our wicked ways, hallelujah. And let us pray for others, those who are suffering, hallelujah. Let us know the plan of God about us, hallelujah. And also, let us, I mean, be prepared enough to, I mean, receive Jesus Christ on the cloud, hallelujah. So this is the reason that I, I, I took these points, and I was just, I mean, explaining all those things to you, that this morning, this is the right time to sit in the presence of God and ask to the Lord, oh Lord, uh, am I ready for the coming of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. I mean, to receive Jesus Christ, I mean, we have to, we have to have that salvation experience in our life. Hallelujah. And we have to, I mean, receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. If Jesus is not your personal Savior and Lord, this is the right time for you to, I mean, receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that, okay, amen. And the Bible says that, okay, if you, if you want to become a child of God, hallelujah, you want to, I mean, receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And you have to, I mean, take the baptism of, uh, in, the, in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit uh, in emerging water, water baptism. Hallelujah. So that is, the, that is the true thing that uh, in the Bible it says that, okay, you have to be surrendered in the presence of God and you have to obey the word of God. You have to obey the commandments of God hallelujah and we have to be the members of the eternal life hallelujah god jesus christ i mean came into this world and he gave his i mean life for each one of us hallelujah at the same time god jesus said i mean if you believe in me you will have the life in abundance hallelujah and if you believe in me you are going to be the member of the eternal life hallelujah and you are going to get the eternal life the living water is there hallelujah so this morning this is the time to i mean come to the presence of god let us have that intimacy with god and let's ask to the lord oh lord i mean we lost many things the lord we lost our spiritual strength of god hallelujah we lost our prayerful life of god hallelujah but we had many talents but we are not able to use those talents of god we we are not able to understand what is the plan and purpose of about my life for God. But this morning we come to your presence. Hallelujah. Let's all surrender life in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We come to your presence of God. Hallelujah. We seek your peace of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We understand that we are nothing in front of you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we humble ourselves. Of Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we humble ourselves, oh God. Hallelujah. We have nothing in front of you, Lord. Hallelujah. We have nothing to post about our life, oh God. Hallelujah. But we understand, I mean, in everything, I mean, God has a plan, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, for those who are called by the name of the Lord and for those who are loving God, everything will work together for those people. Hallelujah. Everything will work together. Hallelujah. So all the steps, uh, steps of your life and all the situations of your life, God will make everything 
for good purpose. Hallelujah. So this is the time to set, I mean, set ourselves in the mighty hand of God. Let us all, I mean, admit our sins and our weakness. Hallelujah. And let's ask to the Lord, oh Lord, we are coming to your presence. Bless us, O oh God. Bless us, O oh God. I mean, thank you for speaking to us, O oh God. Hallelujah. Let's all submit ourselves in the mighty hand of God. I request that, I mean, uh, Reggie, brother, to lead us in prayer now, according to the word of God, which, we, which came to us this morning. And let's all surround our life in the presence of God. I mean, according to the word of God, I mean, brother Reggie will be, I mean, praying now. Hallelujah. Stotram, 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 Stotram. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stotram, 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 Stotram. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But should deny young the Umes of the Snai and the Lepave. The Domino Hermia, the Susan Dravili Kal, the Nayang on the order now with the Sotran Geno. We do wish to do the Nepal Kal and Mudian Yara the Pan. We will the Parangal in the Kartave. They will test the Guan, we do wish to go to Tava Gay, or Alma and the Naravil Yangal Kai Pan. Alma and the Sahai, not the Lord. The other Sotra in the Kartavi, Kajirai, the Ningalella, Kartavian Alpadurai, with the Salangan Kartavian Lesuchi Lakartavi, Yanga Padivali Silo, Kartavi, Logatinde, Nana, Pangal Janam Deume, Kashilum Kartavi, Logatinai, Lukatinaya, Alcelari Kunada, Ajanat Vedi, Yanga Purimicha, Prati game, Kartavi, or Kashwas, and the Yanga Devot or Prati in Jinkartavi, Logatinella, Vangaril Deume, Janam Kartavi, Ami Deume, the virus in Al Badi Kipitri, Janam. Jangan <laughs> Amen. 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 Young <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The remaining time also.